Okay. Happy New Year to all of you. Jared and I are both broadcasting from our homes and hope you had the most wonderful Christmas holiday. Super curious if anybody used Scipio to send out uh, Christmas greetings. Uh, I did myself. I sent out 150 to my friends and family and was completely blown away by the response. I had 120 people message me on Christmas Eve. It was a little almost overwhelming, <laughs> but that's, that's awesome, like the engagement you get when you reach out on a personal level. Uh, so today we want to talk to you a little bit about New Year's Day and what you can do to capitalize on uh, cold leads, unsold leads, and uh, past members or just dormant members with Scipio. Right now, you are competing against every other gym. I can tell you there are so many different programs floating around right now. I joined one myself three days ago um, to get ready for the new year. So I know they're out there. And so how do you get your voice to um, stand out in the crowd? And uh, we have a holiday texting strategy guide that we're going to give you today uh, for free. We're going to put it in the comments section. Uh, Jared's going to tell you about a keyword where you can text in to get that. But we have some power users that really uh, monopolized uh, some holidays. One of them was Memorial Day uh, last year. One of our fitness owners, Blake, he wanted to reach out to all of his uh, unsold leads or his, his cold leads, his past members, and uh, sent them a really great Scipio message that was personalized. It created demand. And uh, he was able to make $12,000 in one weekend just with just that one text. Uh, we had another solar company that did something a little bit different. You can read about their case study. Uh, solar industry is completely different than fitness, but they were able to make a million dollars in one weekend with their campaign. So we want to help you do this with Scipio. You can make so much money right now with this platform. Uh, so Jared's going to take the screen and show you uh, some tricks. Yep. And I'm excited to do that. And before I jump to that, Bianca, actually, I want to I want to touch on, because you kind of breezed right past it. You had 120 responses to your Christmas text, right? I did. And you know, a lot of them were people that I hadn't seen in three, four, five years, but I was able to reach them because it was one single message. I didn't have to write 150 Christmas cards. I didn't have to send, you know, 150 stamps. Uh, and it was, they were really touched. I have to tell you, I kind of had an emotional Christmas Eve responding to people that I hadn't, I really hadn't touched base with in years. And I have to tell you, the 30 people that didn't respond were actually Scipio employees. Because <laughs> they knew, no, they knew what I was doing. <laughs> oh, so, uh, I almost felt bad that they really thought that I had, you know, individually texted all of them, but at the same token, I was able to, uh, to, to, to reach and connect with them. Oh, that's awesome. And so, and I bring that up you guys, because the principles of running a promotion are actually very, very similar in sending a personalized, uh, greeting on a specific holiday. So let me go ahead and jump into my Scipio account here. Again, I'm using a freemium account. This is a free Scipio account. Uh, if anyone wants a free account, just go ahead and go to getstarted.scipio.com forward slash free hyphen gym. And um, we'll go ahead and put that in the comments here as well. Uh, but uh, we're going to talk today about how to utilize a drip campaign uh, and timing, because we know that it's New Year's. So the right time, sending a message to the right people with a personalized message to help you run uh, a promotion. Uh, so I'm actually logged into my account here. I've got my success center pulled up. Uh, if you actually in the search, just type promotion. Whoops, excuse me, I didn't type it fast enough. <laughs> Oops, it's oh, We are live, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to that in just a minute. All right, if you just type promotion in your success center. In fact, I've already searched for it, so I'll search for it again. Um, We've got a lot of different ideas on how you can use promotions. The Shine Solar, that's what Bianca was just talking about. Uh, also, um, this is the holiday strategy texting guide uh, that we've, we want to give you. We'll talk about how you can get that here in just a minute. Uh, but again, we have resources for you available, but you're not here for us to tell you where the resources are. You're here to learn how to do it yourself, so let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go to my campaigns. Again, because this is a freemium account, I have access to two campaigns. Uh, we talked about building this campaign last week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. This campaign has run its course, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and we'll start fresh. And this now we're going to be building 
a new promotion campaign. I'm going to call it New Year's Promotion. And this is a campaign for New Year's. So the thing that we're going to want to do in this, we want it to be personalized. We want to utilize the context of the new year in our message. Okay, we know that today is New Year's Eve. If you're watching this, uh, not on Tuesday, not on New Year's Eve, it's not New Year's Eve anymore, but that doesn't mean you still can't use it. Utilize the context of the day that it is, in the day of the week, the time of the day, or even the time of the year, which we're going to be doing today, to make your message that much more personalized, right? Uh, we're going to use our contacts names, so we're going to be using the first name field in our message, uh, and then we're also going to be creating some urgency around the offering. So before you jump in and start building the campaign or before you write your first message, go ahead and think about what the offering is that you want to give. Um, for some, it is uh, selling personal training. For some, it is selling uh, nutrition uh, coaching. For some, it is a, a challenge, a weight loss challenge. Uh, whatever it is for you and your gym, just think about that uh, before you sit down and write these messages because the messages are going to look something like this. Uh, again, we're using the context of New Year's, and if I add people to this campaign today, they will get this message tomorrow at 11.06 a.m. I actually wanted to get it, you know, about 10 a.m., so I'm going to change that to 10 a.m., and this is going to be the first message uh, with promotion. Morning, first name, Happy New Year. Uh, I have been thinking about you and want to personally invite you to join our VIP. Um, I'm going to do a personal training promotion for 2020. Um, We're only opening this up to 15 people. I'll, I'll 20 for the new year. That's perfect. And I thought you might be a great fit. Okay. So first couple things about this message. Again, we're using the context of the new year. Hey, good morning, Bianca. Happy new year. I've been thinking about you and I wanted to personally invite you to join our VIP personal training group for 2020. Okay. We're only opening this up to 20 of our members and I thought you might be a great fit. Okay, that's a very personalized message. It's got our offer in there. Uh, it's got our time in there. Um, and maybe I'll change this. Uh, we're only opening up to the first 20 members who respond. Make it a little more urgent. I'm going to throw an emoji in there with a colon. Thumbs up. Okay, then I actually want to... Um, have a follow-up message go out just two days later. So we'll do two days later, and I'm going to do this in the evening. And again, they're only going to get this message if they don't respond to the first message. Derek, can you talk about why this follow-up message is so important? A lot of people think just one, send it, done. Yep, thank you. Uh, people are busy, and they, are, they may be getting a lot of messages uh, tomorrow. It's the new year. Maybe they've got friends and family that they're trying to, to coordinate with. Maybe they are tired from the night before, uh, you know, partying too hard. They may see the message and think, oh, I should respond later. Um, hopefully we've created enough urgency in that first message. But if we haven't, that's okay because Scipio will follow up automatically with the people that don't respond. Um, and as one of our, our clients actually taught us, there is fortune in the follow-up. There is fortune in the follow-up. And something, I didn't notice what time you set that first one, but I found sending the first and second message, yeah, at totally different times of the day uh, really helps. We, in the fitness industry, those later texts, 4, 5, 6 p.m., seem to do a little bit better than the morning ones, but you've got to do both because you don't know when they're going to be on their phone. And one other quick thing, we just had a question come in about if you have clients all across the United States does Scipio know what time to send it in their time zone? Can you talk about that? When yeah, you hit four? great question. Yeah. So let me go ahead and save this campaign before I answer that. And I'll just put a test here for just a minute while we, it's going to just hold that as a draft for us. Uh, that is a great question. So unfortunately, we're not able to um, 
to take a contact's phone number and then choose the time zone based on their phone number. Uh, we actually thought about doing that early on, but for example, I live in Utah, but I grew up in Las Vegas. They're in different time zones, and my phone number is still a Las Vegas area code. Uh, and I think Bianca's is the same. She's got a Seattle area code, uh, but we both live in Utah, and we're in different time zones. And so we did think about trying to infer the time zone based on uh, their phone number, but that's not always going to be a match. And so the safest way for us was to set a time zone inside your account uh, and then all of the messages go based on the time zone that you've set and so if you want to change that that's what i'm showing here you just go ahead and click on your your profile image in the top right corner click on my profile uh, and it's just that first option uh, you've got your your time settings right here and you can choose any time zone that you want uh, this has actually been very helpful for people who are traveling um, whether they travel back east or they come out to the west they can they can update this based on to the time that they're on or they can leave it for the time zone that they're used to messaging in um, but it will go out on the time zone that you've set uh, in your profile and so that's part of the reason that i chose 10 a.m uh, i'm in mountain time uh, 10 a.m is noon eastern uh, and so maybe i should change it to 9 30 so it definitely goes out in the morning um, but that's not too early on the west coast either but again, if, uh, if a lot of your people are in the same geographical location, it's not going to matter. But if you're doing like digital coaching, um, it's definitely going to be a little bit trickier to, to manage all of the different time zones of your members. Uh, and so what I've seen people do in the past, they actually group their contacts based on uh, the time zones that they're in. And so you'll see them with a hey, new leads. Uh, in West, or excuse me, in in uh, Pacific time zone. That's what it's called, Pacific time zone. You'll see New Leeds Central, New Leeds Eastern, New Leeds uh, Mountain. Uh, and then they'll reach out to them based on that. Um, in the freemium account, again, unfortunately, you only have access to three groups. Uh, but if you want to upgrade your account, you can actually do that uh, just by clicking here. Uh, and all of our other plans have access to unlimited groups. Uh, and so you'll be able to group those those people how you like. So that's a really good question. Thank you for bringing that up. So I'm I'm not watching our Facebook page at the moment. That's so. okay. I've got I've got the questions here, and I do have one more that is it, it goes back to your first text. Yeah. Do you recommend putting who the text is from in your first message? Great question. So it depends on who's going to be receiving this message. Um, I just inferred that these, this is going to my members uh, because I'm, I'm sending this to my members and they've already heard from me before. They already know this phone number. If I was reaching out to some prospects, I absolutely would change the message to, to introduce myself. This is Jared from the Scipio Gym. Uh, I've been thinking about um, some of our potential members and okay. wanted to personally invite you to join our VIP personal training group for 20, um, for 2020. We're only opening it to the first 20 people who respond. I thought you might be a great you Cut it down to make the 320. <laughs> yep, right there. And yeah. so that's a great question. If these people already know you, I don't think introducing yourself again is necessary. Um, but if they don't know you, if they are leads, then absolutely you're going to want to introduce yourself in that first message. All right. I love how you wrote, I want to personally invite you. That, that one word has really helped me with engagement. You talk about that Christmas card that I sent out. I wrote, I want to personally wish you. Yep. And it, it, it really did um, add that personal touch. So, yep. So again, the, the words we say, the time, the context of the message, uh, all of these things lead us to engagement. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want from our, in, from our leads, from our members. We want them to talk to us, to engage with us. Uh, because we're confident that if you can get them either on the phone or texting you or in for an appointment, you're gonna sell them. You guys are some of the greatest salespeople that we know. Uh, and so we just want to help you see more people um, either coming across in your text messages or coming in for setting appointments. Uh, and so that's, that's what we're here to help with. So my follow-up, again, it's two days later. It's going to be in the evening. It's going to be simple. And it's going to say, um, just wanted to follow up 
from a few days ago. And I either want, I want to ask an open-ended question here uh, to get them to engage. Again, they haven't responded, so they're getting this message. So I'm going to ask something like, what are your fitness goals? What are some of your goals, some of, for this new year? And then I, just because I'm OCD, I'm gonna add one more message, and this one's going to be a week later. And this one, again, we're gonna create urgency. Uh, this is gonna be final follow-up. And this one's gonna say, hey, we have a few spots left for our VIP training group. If you're interested, let me know and I can hook you up. This third text really has uh, worked magic before. It's, it's surprising how many responses I do get on that third one. They say it takes really seven touches to get some people to reach out to you. So that's the beauty of Scipio. You can send as many follow-up messages as you feel you need to. You don't want to get spammy, but uh, the, the follow-up here really, really is magic. Yep. So I'll go ahead and save that one. And I've got my campaign here of three messages. Uh, I wanna just double check that I've clicked this box to remove them if they text me back in. I'll go ahead and hit save. And again, we, we changed this to be new leads. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my new leads to this, to, uh, this content, excuse me, this campaign. I've got my new leads group here. I'm gonna click on view group. And I have one click to just add all of them to this campaign. And that's gonna schedule all those messages for tomorrow. We've got 13 messages scheduled for tomorrow, but it's not just one message, it's potentially three messages per person. So we just wrote 40 messages together um, if they don't, don't respond, right? And, there, and so there it is. So quick recap of everything that we've done. So we've talked about promotions. We've talked about um, using the context of either the time of day, uh, the time of the, uh, the month, or the, the time of the year in your messaging uh, to further personalize the message. We've created some urgency in our message. Um, we've talked about uh, time zones. We've talked about um, editing the messages once they're already there, adding people to a group, uh, utilizing the Scipio Success Center to find uh, some of the promotional templates we have, and we need to give you your gift. That's the last yeah. thing. So if you, so want, you actually, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't go for it. We've had so many comments here and I'm, I'm working on replying to you. Uh, but one of the comments we had is the people that the, they, uh, our group members want the language for the campaign that you just wrote. And we have a handful of these campaigns in this strategy guide. It's a holiday texting strategy guide. that goes through some of those case studies that I mentioned at the very beginning. And it has those, those campaigns. The other place you want to look is in your dashboard or what we call your success center. Those campaigns are there too. And at the very beginning of this uh, video, Jared showed you uh, where that 24 hour promotional campaign is. So it's all there. I'll make sure that I reply to your comments. We've had comments and questions about, can you send videos and pictures? There's so many, uh, fitness clients that want to show before and an after picture in their text okay. message, because I know that's very powerful marketing and you can do that with Scipio. And yes, you can do it with your free account. And this free account does come with a reminder campaign. Somebody just asked that as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and answer all of your comments. I'll drop the strategy guide in the comments as well. Yep. You can also just text in the word guide to my number, G U I D E to three, eight, five, two, one, three, 0868 and we'll send you the the holiday guide as well yeah the beauty of a keyword you could go ahead and try that and get it sent right to your phone so, so. guys thanks so much we'll, we'll jump on facebook make sure you get your questions answered hope you have a wonderful new year's and that 2020 is the best year ever for you and your gym yes it is signing off happy new year happy new year guys we'll see you later